you've been watching my channel for a while, you know how crazy my skin has been getting, like, or had been getting in the past couple years. But, like, can we just take a moment? So, I went to HEB last night and I got so many groceries because I'm on my period and I needed them. Um, but I really didn't at the same time. Like, I got a lot of things that I could have definitely done without. Like, for example, I got a cinnamon bun caramel apple. In my defense, these are seasonal and I love them. So I feel like it's actually kind of appropriate. What's not appropriate is me getting a bunch of other snacks that are similar to it. You know what? I like, I'm so hard on myself. I actually don't eat bad. Even when I like want to get things that are bad. Like I got this white cheddar popcorn that's gluten free and it's honestly like air popped and whole grain and there's zero grams of fat. Like it's really good for you. Like, and then this is a bonza mac and cheese with chickpea pasta. Like, it's actually really good for you, low key. I mean, it's not probably the best thing in the world. Okay, so I'm remembering, I'm remembering now why I felt a little guilty. So I also got Thress Lich's cake. Now, I know you're thinking like, okay, maybe you just wanted some cake. I have pumpkin pie. I have pumpkin pie, it's dank as fuck. I have it in my fridge right now. There's literally zero reason for me to get a cake. I have it. Also, I got this brown sugar cinnamon bread, which like, I guess isn't the worst thing in the world, but like, it's not the best thing either. And I'm planning to have it with like cream cheese. I don't know if that's even gonna be good. Normally I do it on bagels, but I saw that this one was brown sugar cinnamon instead of just cinnamon. And I'm a huge brown sugar fan. So I was like, honestly, I have to try it. These are bad. <laughs> These are bad, I mean, you know. If I eat all of this in one day, it's gonna be bad. I'm not gonna do that. If you hear Fluff in the background, she's been very upset because recently she hasn't been allowed outside. She tried to basically escape chasing a squirrel the other day and literally like spider man her way from one wall to the next. It was wild. It was insane. Unlike anything I've ever seen. I darted after her, tackled her to the ground. I got really banged up in the process. It was a whole mess. Needless to say, she's not going outside anymore. So she's been very upset about it lately. It's been a few weeks now. So she's not that upset anymore. Like as you can see, she's calmed down now. Have you guys seen my living room? I put up the tree and I actually moved the TV from my bedroom over here. Isn't it cool? It's literally so cool. And I like it because if you go up close, you can see like the actual brush strokes. Like it actually looks like very realistic, I feel. I really, I just love it. <laughs> Gotta love rosacea breakouts. This is what happens, and then it'll just completely go away. But anyways. Fluff is in a snuggling mood this morning, so I'm about it. And this gives me an opportunity to thank today's sponsor, which is Shut Eye. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Shut Eye is a sleep tracking app, so it tracks everything, literally everything in your sleep that you want it to track, even your farts, which I thought was pretty interesting to say the least. But I definitely turned it on. I'm curious to know, like, do I fart in my REM cycle? Do I fart at the beginning? Like, when do I fart? Like, when does it happen? I know it happens when. Like, I need to know now that I know it's a thing. So uh, that's cool. Also, they have a lot of like, sleep sounds and white noise nature kind of things to help you fall asleep really easily. So I'm definitely gonna be taking advantage of this because I 
If you know me, I'm a stickler about my sleep. I do not mess around when it comes to my sleep. I'm always looking for great things to try to help me sleep better and get better quality of sleep, which is what this app really emphasizes is getting in that deep quality sleep state. Fluff has no problem with this, but you know, for us, it's a little bit more challenging. Thank you so much again to Shut Eye for sponsoring this video. I'm genuinely going to use it every single day. It's 12.30 and I've changed into a slightly more acceptable going out outfit, but it's still like I'm on my period vibes because I am. Comfort held priority today. I actually had another shirt option that was really cute, but then I thought, do I wanna be cute or do I want to be efficient? Because today I'm gonna go to Target and try to find a spiral notebook. I'm also gonna check out the kettles. I've never had a kettle. I've always wanted a kettle. And I know it might seem like a very mundane thing to be excited about, but I've always had tea where I heat up the water in the microwave. I mean, okay, I, I haven't always had it that way. I remember once upon a time, my mom had a kettle. I remember it used to hit different. You know what I mean? Just like boiled water hits different than microwaved water, by the way. Remember that crazy thing that was happening on my forehead? Well, it's completely gone now. Wild, I'm telling you, wild. But anyways, yeah, so we're gonna go to Target because I feel like Target will have cute notebooks. I really just need a spiral notebook to organize my daily thoughts. I, I, I'm, I'm a big notebook person. I need to write things down. I actually ordered a lot. I went a little crazy. I got like a manifestation journal, gratitude journal on the way. And then I also got a 2022 planner. But honestly, I feel like all of them are sound purchases. Like I, I definitely agree with my decision to purchase all of those. Manifestation and the gratitude journals are guided, which I love. I've never had a guided ones before. I normally just kind of like go at it, you know, myself. But I just love journaling so much this year and I've found so much help with it that I'm like, I, I just really want to prioritize that next year. I think that's, dare I say, my New Year's resolution. You know, I'm actually really proud of myself because I really wanted to develop a really good morning routine. That was my New Year's resolution for this year. And I actually like did it. Like I have it down. I'm really proud of myself. But now it's 12, let me see, probably like late, 1234. I honestly think I'm gonna make a quick lunch, maybe like a PB and J and then go to Target. I'm technically supposed to be doing homework today. I have a, I have like one week left before I graduate with my master's and we have a group project that I'm supposed to be working on that I think I'm low key procrastinating about. The thing is I need a notebook. My notebook that I use, it's all used. Like all the pages are used and I keep trying to like use one of the pages that I've already used that has like room at the bottom, but my ADHD just can't handle it. It really can't. Like I haven't been able to be productive since I ran out of room in my notebook. I'm not even kidding. So I'm going to go get this notebook because I genuinely feel like this is productive for my future. Is it just procrastination though? Disguised very well? Maybe. I'm not going to lie. I acknowledge that that could be a thing. I forgot to tell you guys another bad thing I got. Like this has no nutritional value for me whatsoever. I never get this ever. I haven't gotten Nutella in literal years. It's been years. You were right by the fridge and like the fridge just has this weird humming noise. It's one of those things you just learn. You just learn the hard way. I've so many times I've been speaking to the camera and it was right next to the fridge and there was nothing I could do about the audio. It was just a bad situation. Honestly, how bad is this? I didn't even look. I literally just got it. Like how insane is that? The added sugar is really bad. Okay, honestly, I don't know when I'm gonna eat this. Maybe I could put this on bananas or something. Like I don't wanna like, I don't even know what to do with this. I shouldn't have bought this.
course, I got everything but what I actually needed at Target. But the things I did get, I feel like, are really cute. Quick Target haul. It's so cute. Look, it's a little holiday dinner, turkey and sweet potato. Temptations this is Kat's favorite treats. And they had like a little like Christmas limited time. I had to, obviously. I don't know if I'm actually going to give this to Kat or Oakley, but regardless, I was like, I need it. And then I didn't have Sharpies at my house, so I got these because I thought they were really cool. They're Mystic Gems. So the colors are like a little bit more like pastel -y, I feel. How cute are these little cat toys? It's like a little gingerbread man and milk and they crinkle so again i don't know if i'm gonna give this to cat or oakley but regardless both of them would love it so i still haven't gotten a notebook and that was our whole point of coming out into the world i am now at office depot it was literally just like around the corner so i came here hopefully i can find a notebook i did find a few over there but they were so ridiculously expensive for nothing like it wasn't even that cute like it was like mediocre i was like settling hopefully they have cuter ones here otherwise I literally don't even know. I guess there's Office Max as well. This is the one I ended up getting. Am I obsessed with it? No. Is it the worst notebook in the world? No. I'm back home and just a closer look at the accomplishment of the day. It definitely gives me like Lisa Frank vibes, but I'm kind of here for the nostalgia. It's a very basic notebook. I honestly didn't even look at the kettles. I completely forgot about the kettles, but I needed a notebook for success in life. So I'm really glad that I got one. Thank you to Shut Eye again for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.